Welcome to this Sage 50 U.S. Edition Anytime Learning Topic. In this lesson, you will learn how to use Sage 50's update feature to upgrade the program to a new release. After completing this Anytime Learning Topic, you will be able to upgrade to the current release using Sage 50's update utility. Sage 50 Accounting includes an easy-to-use feature that minimizes the time and steps it takes to upgrade to the current release. Working directly within the program, this feature will prompt you when an update is available and can automatically download the update while you work. Additionally, this feature can fill in the product serial number for you during the upgrade process. Let's walk through a demonstration. When a new release is available, Sage 50 will prompt you when you open the program. This window includes an Install button that you can click to immediately begin downloading the upgrade in the background as you continue working. When the download is complete, you will be prompted to exit the program to continue the upgrade process. Note that if you are using Sage 50 on a network, you should install the upgrade on the server first, and then install it on each workstation. If you choose not to upgrade at this time, or do not show this message again was checked when the window was previously displayed, you can still access the upgrade from within the program with just a couple of extra clicks. On the Sage 50 main menu bar, select Services, and then check for updates. Next, click the Check Now button. When an upgrade is available, it will also be listed on the Online Update window. Click the Read More link to view more information about the upgrade and important installation notes. Click the Download button and the files will begin downloading to your computer. This may take a few minutes. When the download is complete, a prompt will display, informing you that the upgrade process will continue when you exit the program. Click OK. And when you are ready to continue with the upgrade, exit Sage 50. A prompt will display asking if you are ready to update. If you select No, this prompt will display again the next time you exit the program. Let's click Yes to continue. Another prompt will display, instructing you to install on the server first and that you will need to convert your data after installing the upgrade. Click Install, and the Install Shield wizard for the new release begins. Read the instructions on the Welcome page, and then click Next. On the License Agreement page, check I Agree, and then click Next. On the Firewall Settings page, leave Auto Configure checked and Sage 50 will automatically configure Windows Firewall to allow program files to communicate properly on your network. This is always recommended. If a third-party firewall program is detected, it will be listed here as well. Although the setup can automatically configure Windows Firewall to allow Sage 50 files to communicate properly, the wizard cannot auto-configure third-party firewall programs. It is for this reason that you should follow the basic instructions listed on this page. You should turn on the alert system of the additional firewall program before continuing. With alerts turned on, your firewall program will prompt you the first time a network-aware program is installed or run on the system. When you receive firewall alerts during the installation of Sage 50, always select to allow or unblock installation in Sage 50 program files as they are run for the first time. Now, before we continue with the installation, let's also identify some of the important files that should always be allowed through a firewall. Here is a list of the main Sage 50 files to be allowed through your firewall. You can also refer to Knowledge Base Article 10903 for more detailed information and for updates. And to learn more about configuring third-party firewalls, you can view the Sage 50 Installation Tips Anytime Learning Topic. Let's click Next. 
Now the wizard searches for currently installed versions of Sage 50, which may take a few minutes. And then the serial number window displays. The serial number used to install the release update should be automatically entered in the field. But if the serial number field is blank, just enter the serial number provided to you when you received your upgrade information and click Next. On the Upgrade Options page, upgrade information is provided such as the currently installed version of Sage 50 that will be upgraded and the current program files and company data folder locations. If you need to run both versions side by side, select I want to install to a different location and click Next to configure the Sage 50 upgrade program to install in a new program location. For this lesson, however, let's click Replace and then click Install. In addition to the new release of Sage 50 Accounting, programs updated include the Actian Zen database engine, which is used to manage your company database. If a third-party firewall is installed, you may be prompted to allow or unblock one or more of the files listed on this window. Always allow these files to run unrestricted. Your firewall may also prompt you to permit other files to run that are not listed. Select to allow these files to run as well. Once the installation completes, a final window will display, allowing you to automatically start Sage 50 and view the release notes. Let's leave Start Sage 50 Accounting checked and then click Finish to complete the installation process. An instructions page may display if you are upgrading on a server. These customized instructions will walk you through using the Network Installation Manager to install Sage 50 on your workstations. During the installation, the Network Installation Manager files were copied to a shared folder on the server and include a custom installation script. Using this simplifies the process of installing Sage 50 on your workstations. The instructions are accessible from the Windows desktop and can be copied to a USB drive to take to each workstation on which you will install Sage 50. For steps on how to use the Network Installation Manager, please view the Using the Network Installation Manager Anytime Learning Topic. Close the instructions to continue. And Sage 50 will open. Depending on the version of Sage 50 you are upgrading from, you may need to convert your company data to the new release format. If you are on a network, a company upgrade conversion should always be performed on the server. Let's open a company and walk through a conversion demonstration. The Conversion Wizard Welcome page will display. Click Next. On the Confirm Company to Convert page, verify that you have selected the correct company and click Next. If you are converting a quantum company, you have an opportunity to switch your posting method to Smart Posting. Leave No checked and click Next. You will then be prompted to make a backup. This step cannot be skipped. Select to include the company name in the file name, then click Backup. Save the backup and click OK on the backup file size prompt. When the backup completes, you will be able to click Next and continue the conversion. A progress bar will display as the data is converted to the current release format. Once this begins, it should not be canceled. If it is canceled, you will need to restore the previously made backup and walk through the conversion wizard from the beginning. Depending on the size of your data, the conversion process can take a few minutes or as much as an hour. However, it can be left unattended. When the data conversion is complete, click Finish and the company will open in the upgraded release ready to use. There is one final step before this process is complete. 
While Sage 50 may have activated automatically during the upgrade, you should always verify that it has completed. To check your activation status, click Help on the Sage 50 main menu bar, and then select About Sage 50 Accounting. On the About Sage 50 Accounting window, note that the serial number shows Not Registered, meaning it needs to be activated. Click OK to close the window and go back to the Help menu. Select Sage 50 Activation Licensing and Subscription options. A product activation prompt will display. Ensure you are connected to the Internet and click the Activate Online Now button. The program will contact the Sage 50 Activation Service and activate the program. Click OK to complete the process. This concludes our look at upgrading Sage 50 to a new release. Congratulations! You have successfully completed this Anytime Learning topic. You have learned how to upgrade to the current release using Sage 50's update utility. Thank you for taking this Anytime Learning topic. For information on additional training options, please visit us at sageu.com.